Hi guys, welcome to Thoughtful Thursday. So today we are talking about how to pursue purpose. Purpose is, it's a game changer. Like once you find out what your purpose is, everything else begins to align itself. So with that being said, we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the how-tos behind pursuing purpose because like, what does that even look like? Like, what if you don't know what your purpose is? How do you figure that out, right? That's what we're talking about today. I have five key steps and a special bonus at the end. So make sure you put in the comments, what's your favorite step, as well as make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, very important that you hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when a new video has been uploaded, right? All right, let's get into it. Step number one, discover your why. When I think about my why, it is very much rooted in the next generation. So my why is a three-part purpose. Um, the first part is the promise I left, I made to my twins. When I walked away from my twins in that hospital room, I made a promise that their life would have purpose and meaning and that their passing would not be in vain. That no matter what, I would spend the rest of my life living a life that they would have been proud to be a part of. The second part of my purpose is my little sister. I have a sister that's 10 years younger than me, and it is my responsibility to live the best version of Black girl magic I could possibly live for her and show her that she can pursue purpose in this world and be okay. Like, that's my biggest goal, right? Then I have eight beautiful nieces and nephews, and... It's my, also also my responsibility to be in a position that when they become of age, to be able to not only say, you can do whatever you want, but auntie did it and let me help you do that. I want to be in a position to put them in, in route to be able to pursue purpose and go after their dreams in a way that makes sense not the scenic route that I had to take. Like I'm trying to not only break the glass ceiling for them, I want to clean up the mess so they didn't even know that the glass ceiling existed. That's my job. So when I think about my why, like it's it drives me past I don't feel like it. So you have to figure out what your why is. Not just, oh, I want to help people. Oh, okay, but why? Like get deep dive into that why and do not accept the fluff explanations. Step number two, get organized. If you need help getting organized, I have an entire video dedicated to explaining how to effectively get organized. But if organization is not your strength, first of all, foremost, check out that video. But secondly, you have to get committed to the cause. Get organized. Um, it's one of those things that, yes, it takes time, but you're taking like one step back and taking like 10 steps forward. Get organized, period. No excuses. And it's not something that you're born being an organized person. It's a skill set that you can learn and develop. Don't accept I'm not an organized person as an excuse from yourself. Step number three, create and stick to a schedule. Whatever your schedule is going to be, stick to it. When you're creating your schedule, make sure you factor in time for your business, factor in time for yourself, factor in time for all of your commitments. And if you really need help with that, I would recommend getting an hour by hour planner and getting really strategic with your time. Every Sunday, sit down and schedule out your week by the hour. What am I going to do for this hour? What am I going to do for that hour? And get really specific with your time, even if that means during this time to this time, I'm resting. That's okay. It is okay. But create a schedule and stick to it. Step number four, accountability is key. If you don't have anyone holding you accountable in your life, you're just going to do what you feel like doing. 
If no one has permission to ask you the tough questions in life, you're quite literally running amok. Every, everyone needs a coach. Coaches need coaches. I'm a development coach and I have coaches. I have people holding me accountable and I have people who are asking those difficult questions because I need it. Accountability is a game changer. If no one's checking in on your progress, no one's checking in to see if you're doing the things that you said you were going to do, you're not going to do it. Step number five, do the work. All these ideas, all these plans, all these goals, they mean absolutely nothing if you're not putting in that work. Nothing. At the end of the day, the difference between someone who's successful and someone who's not is in their actions. Don't tell me what you want. Show me. Don't tell me what your goals are. Show me. Unless I'm your accountability partner. Then we need to have a conversation. But what I'm saying is make sure that you're showing the world far more than you're telling the world. Actions mean everything, period. Do the work. And for my bonus, which is going to be my favorite. Um, so our bonus is find balance. I'm a Libra. I'm all about balance. It's who I was built to be. But at the end of the day, balance is how you're going to be able to maintain multiple different things. And when you feel yourself getting out of balance, you have to do something to shift that that experience. You have to find balance in your life. And balance is not about everything being equal. Balance is about things being in harmony. I may work and I may work in my business far more than I rest, but it's in harmony. I work six days a week and I rest on one. That's not equal, but it flows. Do you understand? It's finding balance is about making sure that you have a little bit of reward mixed in with your goals. Like that's what it's about. Making sure that you're doing the necessary things to find that balance in your life. Let's do a quick recap, right? Pursuing purpose involves five key steps. Discover your why is step number one. It starts with your why. Step number two, get organized. You have to have an organized plan in place. Step number three, create a schedule. And then stick to it. Step number four, accountability is key. If you don't have anyone holding you accountable, call me. I'd be happy to be your accountability partner, okay? Step number five, do the work. Now, I'm going to tell you this right here, right now. If you're not ready to do the work, don't ask me to be your accountability partner. Because although I'm very loving, I'm very much going to hold you to the standards that you set for yourself. And the bonus, my personal favorite, find balance. Hashtag Team Libra. (laughs) Put in the comments, like, which one was your favorite, right? Which one are you struggling with? Have you found your purpose? If so, put that in the comments. Let's have a conversation, guys. But most importantly, make sure you hit subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm going to keep saying it until you guys subscribe, so... You might as well. (laughs) All right. Thanks, guys.